Hey, yeah, I was talking to this gentleman, young kid. He was under the impression that there was something about me that was less than he. And I had to share with him. First, I asked him, what makes you think you hate me? And he said something like, oh, you guys are slaves. You guys were not, not human. You guys were supposed to be less than him. I said, stop right there. I said, we folks whose skin absorbed the sun? No, we weren't slaves. You, your parents, and my parents today are slaves because they get up out of their bed voluntarily to go chase that American paper. No, we weren't slaves. We were enslaved. We were forced gunpoint by savages in uniforms. They didn't look like me as much as they did you. But this is a story they won't tell you. They won't tell you that we were enslaved, meaning forced to live this way or killed. So when you walk around thinking that you hate me, that comes from being indoctrinated with ideologies that humans don't possess. You have to be genetically engineered. You have to be a genetically engineered human to even think that you're better than someone else. And the reason is, is because you're the only one without a hue. So AI, which has been around way longer than Bill Gates and Bezos and these guys started playing with it. They used that intelligence, that alien, it's not artificial, it's alien intelligence. They used it to manipulate you into thinking because you don't have a hue. There's something special about you. No, actually, if you think about it, it may be a defect. It may mean that there's a defect within you. Organs, skin not absorbing the sun, hair not defying gravity. <clears throat> There were no hospitals in places like Africa. Here, and in, 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 in where we are before they called it America, before they raped her and called her America. We ate off the land. The land was the hospital. The food we ate was medicinal until they came over from Europe. They sent Christo, Christopher, his name was Cristobal Colon. And their family still lives on. They're called the Collins. So they changed the Colon to Collins because it sounds more European and less Spanish. So when you are taught to hate me, you will at some point come to a point where you hate yourself because you'll recognize that they lied to you. See, when you call me a nigger, you're repeating the ignorance of those who precede you, who didn't know how to say negus. Negus is an Ethiopian ruler, sort of like an emperor. So you're not, you're not degrading me. You're actually calling me something you wouldn't want to call me. But you don't recognize that the word nigger comes from negus. There's so many lies they told you. We're brothers. We're pieces of a whole. Except until you recognize that you're no better or worse than anyone else, you can't be a whole piece of a whole. See, you'd be a piece of a whole. You'd be a piece. But when you become a whole piece of a whole, you know exactly where you fit into the whole picture. So, that being said, I hope this kid learned something because his mom and dad apparently, and you know the schooling system is definitely, he learned, from that. they succeeded. For him to disrespect me and mistreat me for characteristics I have no power over, that's the education system. That's its job. Its job is to turn you against your fellow man simply because they need you 
to be so lost on who you are that you'll focus on who I'm not, thinking I'm not one of you. We're all equal. Hmm. You just need to learn how to equalize. Peace, guys. Just had to share that. <laughs> I hope this kid's mother and father don't get angry at him when he speaks to them because he said, I'm going to question him. I told him it might be a little too late and you don't want to have to shoot them. <laughs> if they take away your, your Sega Genesis and your Xbox, so just learn. Peace, guys.